think our biggest mentors and supporters have been our parents. And I don't think that it would have been possible to be as close to wherever we are right now without their help. Just, I mean, everything as far as just showing up for shows and um, believing in us and I guess just believing we could actually do this as a career and helping pay for things like a van and little things like that. You can't do it without your parents, so thanks, Mom. <laughs> Love you, Mom. Love you, Dad. <laughs> Well, we've only we've only been alive for about a year, so it's it's been a it's been a short little um, career so far. But we've been really fortunate and had some great experiences. We went on the road with the Civil Wars this past year, and it was a phenomenal experience. Yeah, I would have to say one of the biggest moments was that first show that we had with the Civil Wars. The audience was huge and yeah. it was just so overwhelming and it was the first show we played with them and afterwards people are wanting our autographs and photos and it was really overwhelming but amazing at the same time so I would say that that yeah. first night. South by is a pretty amazing experience in itself it's pretty chaotic running from show to show and making sure our vans parked properly and we're not That's, getting ticketed and that is the worst part <laughs> and we're trying to stay healthy and uh, not lose our voice um but it's been a lot of fun we've gotten a lot of great feedback and a lot of a lot of good showcases so it's it's been a success i'd say it's been super sweaty super sweaty uh i love being the only girl in the band um I don't really know what else to say about it. Boys are just easier. Um, maybe a little bit messier, but it's... Uh, Sweatier. Sweaty. Again, it's just sweaty. Yeah. Uh, but just very little drama, and that's that's what I like most about it's it. It's nice having a girl in the band. It's not just all dudes all the time fighting with each other, and it's nice to kind of have the female in there breaking things up. Oh, thank you. Yeah, X Y X Y. <laughs> well, we're we're pretty um, in touch with the social media. We we are the the tech age, I suppose. Um, we tweet. Um, <laughs> we get on um, Facebook. We try to stay active and just communicate with fa like fans and people that support us. And you know, if they tweet. Uh, tweet us or go on our Facebook. My favorite part about social media is that I can see my life through other people because everybody is just taking random footage and pictures and I don't really have the time or I don't really think about taking photos and, and video along the way and um, it's, it's nice to know and see everybody else doing it. Um, there have been, I, I watch the Grammys every year. I don't know what year it was, but I remember I was in Steamboat Springs, Colorado, um, skiing with my family, and Ricky Martin was one of the guests, and there was a lot of stilts and acrobatics going on, and I remember being um, really amused by that performance. I watch the Grammys every year, and usually I watch and I cry because I just want to be there so badly, but um, this year was was really great I think I mean Adele was great that was probably my favorite part of this year but there's always something memorable about the Grammys it's just they're all merging together in my brain right now I'm Marlena and I'm Robbie and we're Milo Green and we're here at the Grammys at South by Southwest <laughs> <laughs>